So if you want to overclock your graphics card, one of the things you're going to need is an overclocking software. And here I have three of the main overclocking softwares that are available to you. And I'm going to compare each piece of software to one another. That way you know the differences and can download the one that is going to fit what you need the best. While they all accomplish the same thing, they do have slightly different features that accomplish those things for you and they also have slightly different on-screen displays so you can choose which one you like the best and go from there up here on the left we have msi afterburner on the right here is evga precision x1 and down here is asus gpu tweak 3. now as i said these all have the same core features as you can see the core voltage core clock memory clock power limit and temp limit you can see that down here in GPU tweak and here in Precision X1. So these main core clock settings in each of these softwares is very easy to use. You can use the sliders in MSI Afterburner, same thing in Precision X1. Down here in GPU tweak three, you can also use the slider, but in each one, you can also type a number as well so very easy to do however in gpu tweak 3 you actually have to type what goal megahertz you're looking for so we can type 2800 and then it'll actually adjust the slider and put in a 280 megahertz offset to reach that goal so the voltage slider is in a percent here in msi afterburner plus 100%. The power limit is in a percentage plus 133%. The power limit in Precision X1 is also looks like it's in a percent. And the voltage doesn't have a measurement, but it goes from zero to 100. So I'm assuming that's also in a percentage just like MSI Afterburner. The same thing for GPU tweak, it's all percentages, so 133 and 100%. No differences really there in how that's controlled. Fan speeds are again controlled in sliders in both systems. I have a water block and water cooling, so my GPU fan speed is not able to be changed within these programs, but the fan speed is controlled very similarly. Now in terms of UI, I'm not a huge fan of GPU tweak 3. I don't think that it gives you the best information in a very readable fashion. MSI Afterburner is great. It gives you the information you're looking for right there, right in your face. And the skin of MSI Afterburner can be changed in the user interface. So you can select all these different skins here, depending on how you want it to look. So that's a pretty cool feature. You can definitely change this a little bit to your liking. EVGA Precision X1, however, I am a much bigger fan of this UI as you have your memory clock right here, your core clock and voltage right here, and your power and temp targets right here, and then your fan speeds down here. It all just slows very well. It looks great and it's very clear. These seem to have a little bit of a lack of clarity on a 4K monitor, whereas Precision X1 one is crystal clear, nice and crisp. Afterburner also seems to be a little bit hazy on a 4K monitor. So in terms of UI, I would choose Precision X1. I did want to point out one thing that Precision X1 has that I'm not able to find on either MSI Afterburner or GPU Tweak 3, and that is a boost lock. So this is actually really helpful if you're looking to run benchmarks as it will lock your GPU clock at its specified megahertz rate, and it's not gonna drop when the load goes down. So you're gonna keep a nice steady clock speed, which is gonna allow the most accurate benchmarkings. However, if you're just looking to get the highest performance possible, boost lock might be the way to go. Now that is going to bring your temperatures up, but it's gonna, make your performance more steady as the GPU clock is just gonna be the same speed no matter what. It may actually stabilize your more extreme overclocks as there's not gonna be dip in 
the core clock frequency, which that's usually where crashes occur. So this could be a way to stabilize extreme overclocks as well. So in terms of this over here, OSD, OSD, and then MSI also has an OSD. That is a on-screen display or an overlay, meaning you're gonna be able to see this information while you're gaming if you so choose. So I'm gonna go ahead and look at each on-screen display and see which one looks the best. So here's the EVGA Precision X1 on-screen display overlay. It has GPU and memory clock, GPU temperature, memory usage, and frame rate. So this is all very GPU specific information. It doesn't have anything with the CPU or anything like that. So it is bare bones minimum. It gets the job done if you're working on overclocking your GPU and just wanna see the statistics. They're right there, they work, they're clear, they're nice and easy to read. It gets the job done. So here's the GPU Tweak 3 overlay. It has the frames per second, system time, GPU temp, clock usage, your CPU clock, temp and usage, your VRAM usage, GPU voltage, your fan RPM, your VRAM clock, your power target, your fan one and two duty, and your fan two RPM, as well as the resolution of your system and the frame time of the game. So it goes further than EVGA Precision X, which is great if you want more information. So I definitely think this is a better overlay than Precision X1, and it's very readable. I think the white, yellow, and blue really help to keep things extremely readable. So I think this is a great benchmarking overlay. And here is MSI Afterburners on-screen display. Now I do have to say that this is not actually MSI Afterburner as this is Riva Tuner Statistics Server that comes with MSI Afterburner that is its on-screen display. But this is an extremely powerful overlay one that you see most YouTubers and most benchmarking channels using it has all the information that you could ever want to put into an on-screen display. So it takes a little bit to get set up and get used to and get the information onto the screen in the way that you want it. But once you have it, it is undeniably the best on-screen display for performance metrics. And I would definitely recommend using the Riva Tuner statistics for your on-screen display versus any of the included OSDs from the overclocking softwares, as this is gonna meet any needs that you could ever want. So my choice overall for GPU overclocking is either MSI Afterburner or Precision X1. GPU Tweak 3 is really not for me personally. Again, I like that you can put in a target boost clock. The OSD is nice if you're looking for an on-screen display that has a good bit of information but isn't overwhelming to get up and running. But again, I use Riva Tuner statistics, so I don't use this on-screen display. So I really have no purpose for GPU Tweak 3. MSI Afterburner, I do use mostly because it comes with Riva Tuner statistics and I launch Afterburner and it brings up my statistics server as well. It has all of the overclocking features that I need and it works great. So I typically use MSI Afterburner. However, again, I do like the look of EVGA Precision X1. And if I do need the boost lock feature, I will use Precision X1. But overall, I typically will be using MSI Afterburner just because it does everything I need it to do. It includes the best on-screen display out of any of these overclocking softwares, and it does the job really well.